Hello, this is Oliver Bürkler. I'm Senior Technical Products Manager for 3D Laser Scanners at Faro. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to load Faro scan data into the 2011 version of AutoCAD Plant 3D. The first method to load your scan data is using the load point cloud command from Faro Cloud. This will load your PCG database directly into Plant 3D. But please be aware, Faro laser scanners are always measuring in meters as unit for the point cloud. You can easily verify this with a simple measurement directly in AutoCAD, as I will do it now here on the railing. You will see that the distance measurement between two poles of the railing will be given as approximately one meter. As Plant 3D is working either with inches or millimeters as working units, you will have to scale your point cloud. Therefore, type in the scale command, pick one point with the cursor from the point cloud. Then you type in 000, 000 as base point for the scaling. And if you want to work in millimeter, type in 1000 as scale factor. If we are now zooming back into the corner of the platform, we can verify that the scaling worked correctly. This time, the distance reading between the two poles of the red ring should be displayed as 1000 mm instead of 1 meter. Type in dist to start the distance measurement and pick one point on each pole of the railing. Here we go, the distance is displayed as 1051 mm, which is confirming that the scaling worked correctly. An alternative method is using the point cloud command of AutoCAD. Use the option Attach and in the following dialog box you pick the scan file you want to import. In the next step, AutoCAD will allow you to specify the insertion point and the scale of the point cloud. So we are typing in 1000 for the scale to achieve millimeter measurements. Now we are already done. To verify the success of the scaling, we are zooming into the corner of the platform again and will repeat our distance measurement. As expected, the distance of about 1000 mm is proving that the point cloud is scaled correctly. Now we are ready for using our point cloud. Thank you for watching this tutorial.